Hello friends, this video sets part 13 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Before watching this video, you should have watched sets part 1 to part 12. Let's practice some Venn diagrams. So here we see practice E. We see E, E is nothing but this whole range which is there enclosed in the circle. So this circle is the circle for set E. So whatever there is inside the circle is E. Similarly for B, whatever there inside this circle B is part of B. So this whole thing is B. I will create a horizontal lines to represent this. So this is A and whatever you have done in horizontal is this is A and this is B. Now when I say A union B, I see elements which are common to which are part of both either A or B. So that means this whole set, the bigger set, anything that is in red now is A union B. The whole thing, this whole thing is A union B. Because these, these are the elements which are either part of A or part of B. So this whole thing is A union B. Correct. Let's do some more practice. Let's suppose we are supposed to find A minus B. A minus B is nothing but you take A, this whole set A first. And then you subtract element which are there in B. So in B you see these elements are common. So you subtract these elements. So what you get is this area. So this area is nothing but A minus B. You take whole element of A and then you subtract which are common in B. So you get A minus B. Similarly if you want to say, say B minus C, you take whole element of B, you subtract the common area between B and C is, that is this. So what you get is B minus C. I will put in the star mark. This area is nothing but B minus C. This is B minus C. Let's do some more practice. We want to find A intersection B. A intersection B is common area between A and B. This is the common area between A and B. This is nothing but A intersection B. Now if I want to find A union B union C, that is all the elements which are either part of A or B or C. So we'll take the bigger area. This whole area is A union B union C. So all the elements here, all the elements here is A union B union C because the elements are either part of A or B or C. Let's do some more practice. So we want to find A union B complement. So first we'll find A union B. So A union B as we have discussed in the last diagram is this. This is A union B. Now if you want to say complement, you find the remaining area. The remaining area I am putting in star. This is the one in the star is A union B complement. Now let's say a intersection, A complement intersection, B complement. So A intersection is anything outside A. So let me do this with the horizontal lines. We complete this. So this is A complement. The one in red is A complement. This is A complement. And now let me say B complement. So no, the whole this area is A complement, sorry. This whole area is A complement because it is anything that is not in A. Now let me write B complement. Similarly, B complement, let me write in the vertical. So this is nothing but B complement because this is B and outside of this is B complement. So now we have to say intersection. Intersection is common area. So common area is something which is in the 
gauge form. So you see this is same as what is there in the star form. And from here also we can prove that these two are equal. Let's take one more example. A intersection B complement. So here we have to first try to find A complement A intersection B. So A intersection B is nothing but the common area. This is the common area between A and B. And now we have to find A intersection B complement. So that means anything apart from this. So I will we'll put in star. So this area is nothing but A intersection B complement. The one in the star. This is nothing but A intersection B complement. So you see anything outside this, this figure is A intersection B complement. Let's draw one more diagram. A union A intersection union B intersection. So what we'll do first we'll say A intersection. So let me draw all the A, A thing in the horizontal lines like this A, A complement. This is A so I'll ignore this A. So this is our A complement. This is A complement. And now let me write all B complement in a one word in a in a horizontal line. B complement is this because we are avoiding B. This is B. So anything outside B is B complement. So we got this. So now I say union of this. That means anything, anything which is in red is A intersection union B intersection because in union we say is either part of A or B. So anything which is painted. So if you see anything that is painted is equal to anything that is in star mark. Correct. Here also we can see that this is the same. A intersection B complement or A complement intersection B complement both are same. Thus we have drawn the Venn diagrams. A union B complement. So we have first found A union B in this lines and then to complement to the star symbol here. Here we found the A complement first the horizontal lines B complement in the vertical line sorry A complement in the vertical line and B complement in the horizontal line and then we found the intersection intersection was nothing but the common element that is in gauge form here we found A intersection B first that is in the horizontal line and then we took a complement so we found all the star marks here here we found A complement first in the vertical line and then B complement in the horizontal line and what you get A intersection union B complement is anything that is red, painted red. So we got this area and this area is similar to star one. Thank you. Visit examfear.com to watch free educational videos, try free online test, get the best quality study material, study from the best tutor and mentors and much more. Thanks once again.